I'm Mary Beth, paddle adventurer, and today we are going to do something that most paddlers want to do, but hopefully never have to do. Today, we are going to pull the cord on this Mustang inflatable waist belt PFD. This is Mustang's 20th anniversary edition. To wear it, it obviously goes around your waist like so. Most people wear it at the back, but it is supposed to be worn at the front because when you engage it, the PFD will blow out in front of you in order for you to put on over your head. For the PFD to be effective, you need to be conscious in order to pull the cord. Legally, and for it to be effective, you must be wearing the inflatable waist belt at all times. Today, we are going to pull the cord to see how it will perform when it's inflated. I've never done this, so I'm pretty excited. Not only is it gonna be a ton of fun, but it's going to be great for you and me to see what it's like and how it performs in case of an emergency situation and you do need to pull the cord. Once we pull the cord on the PFD, we're gonna go test it out in the water. After we test it out in the water, together we're going to learn how to rearm the inflatable PFD. Thanks to Mustang Survival for sending me the rearming kit. Oh shit! We're gonna pull the cord. Are we ready? I'm so nervous. What's gonna happen? All right. Three, two, one. When the CO2 was filling it up, you could feel the coolness of the air from the CO2 cylinder filling the PFD. You can see that it blows down and out, and the tab here holds onto the PFD. And it's really tight. There's a lot of air in there, which is great. This is where our head's gonna go through, so let's put it on. Whoa, that's nice and tight. And that's what you want. Nice and safe, feels really secure. You've got these extra ties here. If it does need to be tighter, you tie that up. You have the self-inflation if you need to. You know when you watch those airline safety videos and they, they touch it nicely like this, like... That's what this reminds me of. You see the CO2 cylinder there. The waist belt starts to come up because it's on. It's nice and secure. Let's go test it on the water. All right, cut. If we fell in the water, the PFD would be inflated out and pop out like this, ready to put on over your head. You need to be a swimmer. If you're a non-swimmer, you are not gonna be able to grab this and put it on properly. If you can't swim or aren't a strong swimmer, wear a foam vest PFD. Let's try this on. Now I see why it's so tight and so full. It's super buoyant and it really holds up my body weight. This would hold up people that are a lot heavier than I am. The quality on this is awesome. It doesn't feel too plasticky. It's like a nice fabric. When it is floating on me, the, the actual waist belt itself starts to come up. It's attached around my back. That was so awesome. Thank you so much, Mustang Survival. To learn about rearming the PFD, see how long it takes to manually inflate, and learn about overall routine care instructions for inflatable PFDs, check out the rearming maintenance and care video.